Thank you for viewing the very first episode of Cowboy Boots and Finance podcast. Throughout this first season, we're going to talk about different questions that need to be asked and answered for retirement planning. The first question I always ask my clients are, what is the grand plan? And so often they'll tell me, well, Bruce, I haven't really thought about it. And I'll tell them, well, well you're getting you know, pretty close to retirement, probably four or five years away. Don't you think that's something that we should start thinking about? And so often people will tell me, well, I'll just, I'll wing it. I'll think about it, you know, once I'm retired, then I'll figure it out. So I always try to educate people on why a grand plan is so important. So when I start off talking about a grand plan, specifically what I mean is what do you want for your assets? What do you want during retirement? When do you want to retire? You know, so so often People work so hard their whole lives and as they get closer to retirement, it's such a mental shock to know that you go from working five days a week, nine to five, having a, a guaranteed paycheck come in, to thinking about what's going to happen when I don't have that anymore. What am I going to do? Am I going to sit around the house? Am I going to garden? Am I going to watch TV? Am I going to join clubs? Who? Those are all questions that need to be asked. So often people say, well, you know, my, my wife has so many honeydews that I need to do around the house. That's going to keep me busy for years. And honestly, that usually keeps you busy for three to four months. And then after that, you've done everything you want to do. You're a little bit bored about sitting around the house. And, and now you're trying to develop a plan uh, after the fact. Well, that, that doesn't work. It's much better to develop a plan before retirement. Now, plans can always be changed. Remember that. Just because we set up a plan doesn't mean we can't change it. But to have some kind of direction and some kind of knowledge of, of how much you, you should be spending, what you should expect to be spending, you know, what you want to do the first year. Usually, I'll tell people, it's okay to spend a little bit more the first couple years. You know, you've worked your whole life and now you have some freedom. But, but remembering the first couple years, you're not working as much, so you have a lot more extra time. And we all know every time we step outside our front door, we're gonna end up spending money. It's guaranteed, right? So, so the first couple years, you're probably gonna spend a little bit more than the, the, the middle half of your retirement. So that's why having a grand plan uh, helps us prepare for those, knowing that uh, you're gonna spend a little bit more money. I had a client one time, I said, okay, well, you're four years away from retirement, we really need to kind of plan something out for you so you have you know, a basic idea of how retirement's gonna go. He said, Bruce, I'm really not concerned about that. I'm going to end up uh, retiring. I've got plenty of work to do around the house, and that's going to keep me busy, and that's what I want to do. I said, okay, well, uh, you know, I can't stress a enough that just work around the house isn't always the best retirement plan. So, he, you know, he ended up following his... Uh, his thoughts. We didn't set up a grand plan. We didn't have an idea of, of what retirement was going to happen. And he goes and retires. And then right after retirement, he decides to buy a cabin. Spent you know, over $300,000 on a, on a cabin. And after that, he bought a new truck. Spent another $50,000, $60,000 on a truck. And then we show up at the end of the first year and he says, Bruce, I need, you know, X amount of dollars to live on. I said, well, you just spent $360,000 of your retirement. He's like, yeah, well, I wanted, the, I, wanted the, I wanted the cabin and I wanted the new truck. I said, yes. I said, but if you would have set up a grand plan, a starting plan, like I suggested, you would have known that pulling $360,000 out of your retirement accounts, it doesn't cost $360,000. You spent three hundred and sixty thousand, but you needed to pull out over four hundred thousand dollars because you had lots of taxes to pay, and now you're in a higher tax bracket. 
and now you've crippled your retirement account because you've pulled out so much right from the beginning. What happens if the economy and the market don't coincide and they don't continue to grow? What happens if we have a pullback? How is that going to affect your retirement account? So these are all questions that need to be asked and answered right from the beginning. Thank you for viewing the first podcast of Cowboy Boots and Finance. I appreciate it. Thanks. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can continue to get new content from me and the team. Thank you.